Hello everyone, I'm Chef Marco, and today I'm going to show you how to do my lemon tart. And a couple weeks ago, I made a video of doing a, explaining you how to do a creme brulee. I'm going to leave the link just here so you can go and watch it if you didn't watch it yet. And on that creme brulee recipe, I use a lot of egg yolks and I didn't use any of the whites. So today I'm going to show you how to do an Italian meringue. And an Italian meringue is a really good way for you to use the whites and uh, you can uh, do it in so many different things. Today I'm going to pipe it on top of my uh, tart. It's going to look really good and it's going to give a different texture to the tart. But you can always uh, pipe it into a tray and cook it and you have a nice meringue for your making your eaten mess or even if you just like to eat the meringue by itself, it's just really good. For the lemon tart, we're gonna start by making our sweet pastry. And for our sweet pastry, we're gonna need 250 grams of plain flour, 125 grams of butter, 90 grams of caster sugar, and one egg. And you're gonna start by adding your flour and your sugar to a bowl, and then your butter. We're gonna grate it, so it's gonna be easier for you to um, mix it to the flour. We're gonna add the egg and now we're gonna mix it and we just grate the butter so this is easier if you don't grate the butter it will be quite hard for you to uh, to do this because you need to have a cold butter uh, you want to work um, your uh, pastry your uh, dough until it's all combined you don't want to overwork this you don't want to stretch any gluten nothing so you're just gonna work it until uh, it's only one color. You can't see the difference between the butter and flour. It's all mixed together. And as soon as you have it all mixed together, you're gonna wrap, the, wrap it in uh, some film and it's gonna go in, um, in the fridge to, um, to let it rest a little bit and the butter gets cold again. Okay, our uh, pastry has been rested for a while and it's nice and cold. I'm gonna roll it and just add a little bit of flour to your board and uh, to your rolling pin to your hands so it doesn't get stuck. And you're gonna roll it until it's uh, half centimeter thick and then you're gonna use our tart mold and you're gonna cook it in the oven. Okay, you can uh, check if you roll it enough by using the mold that you're gonna use. Just put it on top and see around, look around and see if you already spread it enough. It is looking ready. Okay, now I'm gonna add some uh, baking paper on top and I'm gonna use these baked beans. You can use some rice as well if you want. Uh, I'm gonna use the ones. Okay, so uh, just put it in a tray and basically what you're gonna do now, we're gonna blind bake the, the pastry and uh, nearly, let's say 80% through when everything is like golden brown, I'm gonna take the baked beans out and I'm, um, I'm gonna let the bottom crisp up a little bit as well. But with this, uh, with the beans on top, you're gonna let all the pastry cook without burning it and without puffing, without the pastry to puff. Okay, our uh, tart is nearly ready. As you can see here, the color starts to have this nice uh, golden brown color. We're gonna take our beans out and you're gonna finish cook the bottom without anything. So the bottom gets nice and crispy as well. Okay, so now we're gonna start our uh, tart filling. And for that, we're gonna need to squeeze the, our lemon juice and we're gonna need um, to whisk a little bit our eggs and uh, we're gonna need uh, four egg, uh, whole eggs and four egg yolks. Okay, so now to our eggs, we're gonna add 150 grams of sugar. Okay, we're gonna take uh, the seeds out of our vanilla to add it as well. Okay, now I'm gonna need 200 milliliters of uh, fresh lemon juice. So scrub some uh, lemons and just squeeze the juice out. Okay, so now I'm just gonna give this um, a mix. We don't need to whisk this, you just wanna mix all the ingredients together. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, put one pan with some water to boil because we're gonna cook our lemons, we're gonna do that lemon curd in a, in a double boiler. So one pan, boiling water, I need a, that's why I'm using a glass bowl, because you're gonna need to put our bowl on top of the, the pan and uh, cook it basically with the steam. 
So I've been using a whisk to, a whisk to uh, mix all together. And as you can see, there is a lot of hair in our um, lemon curd. And I don't want any hair in there. I want it to be uh, nice creamy. So now I'm gonna swap my whisk for a nice spatula. Okay, so now we're just gonna mix this around, make sure that it doesn't uh, create any lumps. So just keep uh, stirring it until it starts to get really, really thick. And you're gonna see in the end, it's really easy to see when it's ready because this is gonna get really, really thick. The eggs will cook and will be like a really thick um, custard. Okay, our tart is ready as well. We're gonna let it cook down a little bit and then we're gonna trim the, the end so it looks, it looks better. Like this, it looks, it looks a bit bad. So we're just gonna grab a knife, trim it, and then we're gonna put the filling and it's ready. It's just gonna need to let it cool down. As you can see, it's, um, it's really thick now. Um, it's ready. So what you're gonna do now, it's taking it out of the, the water. And we're gonna add the butter now. And the butter is 150 grams of butter that you're gonna cut in cubes. And you're gonna add it one at a time and mix it. Okay, so now we're gonna add our filling to our tart. We're gonna put it in the fridge and then we're gonna finish with our Italian meringue. So in here, I have the egg whites, the egg whites left over from my creme brulees, the, the creme brulees that I made earlier. And I'm gonna start making my Italian meringue by starting whisking them until they are nice and frothy. Okay, your whites are ready. And there is only one way to check if they are ready or not. You're gonna grab your bowl and you're gonna do this. Okay, they're ready. The Italian meringues, we basically cook our whites with a syrup made with water and sugar. So you're gonna need to put in a pan some water and sugar and you're gonna need to boil it until it's 125 degrees. And then we're gonna add it slowly, slowly to our egg whites while we continue whisking and we're gonna cook our whites like this and it's gonna be, that's, that's how we're gonna make them really, really frothy. So our syrup is ready now and our whites are ready as well. So we're gonna add it slowly, slowly while you keep mixing so we cook them even and you don't have like lumps of uh, egg whites. Okay, you're gonna add all your water and sugar to your eggs, keep whisking. And when you finish adding it, you're gonna need to continue whisking your uh, egg whites until the, the ball, and you can feel the ball touch it, until the ball starts to get cold and until it looks like, yeah, until it has this consistency like, like the one I have here. And I don't have any piping, yet, piping bag, so I'm gonna show you a, a nice rustic way to, uh, to finish your uh, egg whites. So just gonna, add the, the whites to our tart. And now we have two options. Or you put it in the oven and you set up the oven to the grill option. So the, just put the heat on top and uh, give a nice color to them. Or if you have a blowtorch, just go ahead and burn, uh, burn them a little bit. Just give them a little bit of color on top. As you can see, it's really good. I couldn't wait the, to start the video. I started to eat it already. And there you have it, my uh, lemon tart. And I normally don't do the lemon tart with the meringue on top, but this time I decided to do it so I can show you a uh, way to uh, use your leftover egg whites. And also because my mom does it like that, I wanna show you that I can do it better. Sorry, mom, but I can do it better. And don't forget to subscribe our channel, like our videos, leave us a comment. My name is Marco and I'm your private chef.